Have any of you guys ever wondered what an extremely small mini ITX PC would look like inside of a massive full tower case? Now, I'm sure that this is going to look completely ridiculous at the end, but I just have to know what it would look like. You son of a bitch. What's up everybody, welcome back to the PC Rehab. Now, I don't know about you, but there is just something wonderful about a brand new PC build. And as you can see from the items in front of me, we're going to be using some rather small hardware for this build. And because I just wanna see it done, I'm gonna put this build inside of this mass. <laughs> wow, that was so loud. That was, that was unbelievably loud. I'm gonna put this PC inside of this massive thermal tank case. Now, why would I do this? Because I want to. And I think that in the end, this thing is gonna look hilarious. Now, other than the fact that this system is probably going to look completely ridiculous, it is a rather powerful computer and we should expect some pretty strong gameplay footage from this system. Now, originally, I was going to put this N610 GT graphics card inside of the computer, and that's because, well, just look at it. It's so cute and tiny. But to pair this tiny little graphics card with a 5600X, 32 gigabytes of RAM, that's an absolute waste of this computer's potential. So I started looking around for a single fan GPU that would be strong enough to match the rest of the components inside of this computer. And all I was really coming up with were 1070s and 1660 Supers, all of which are good cards, but it's just not going to be enough for this build. So let me introduce to you what is probably going to be the largest component going inside of our PC, and that is this 4070 Dual Fan by ASUS. Now I have got to be completely honest with you, I have never used a 4000 series card before, and that's because, well, we do a lot of budget builds around here. So I am excited not only to see how goofy this computer ends up looking, but I'm also excited to see how well this card performs in some games. Now to go along with our 4070, our Ryzen 5 5600X, and 32 gigabytes of Kingston Fury RAM, we are going to be using this Gigabyte A520 motherboard. It is a mini ITX board, so it is extremely small, and coincidentally, it is the exact same board that we've put inside of our giveaway computer. Which reminds me, if you wanna win that computer right there, all you have to do is join the PC Rehab Discord server, where we build computers all the time and talk about new tech. It's super fun, and the link is in the description down below. We're also gonna give this computer a one terabyte NVMe storage drive, a super low profile, really cool looking CPU cooler from ID Cooling, a 750 watt power supply, and some super duper awesome sleeved cables, because while this computer will look extremely silly, that doesn't mean it also can't look cool. Plus, these cables actually served a secondary purpose because I was extremely worried that the power supply cables weren't going to reach all of the hardware because this case is so tall. Now, when I say this computer is tall, I'm really not kidding you. This case sits 26 inches from the desk to the top of the case. It's 20 inches long and almost a foot deep. This case is a beast. To give you guys some idea on how large this case actually is, my computer is in an O11 Dynamic Evo case by Lee and & Lee, and that case is 18 inches tall and 18 inches wide, and it's one of the more popular cases that you can find on the market today. Now, if you were to sit this Thermaltake case next to it, it's pretty easy to determine that the Thermaltake case would probably beat the Lee & Lee case in a fight. Now, as far as build difficulty is concerned, this is probably going to be one of the easiest computers to assemble ever, simply because of the amount of space that I'm going to have to work in. But I still think that it's going to look extremely silly, and I'm very, very excited to get this thing started. So let's go ahead and throw on some music, and let's throw this thing together, because I'm, I'm ready for a good laugh.
<laughs> so, so I have been giggling like a little schoolgirl the entire time I've been putting this thing together because it looks absolutely ridiculous. This is this is such a large case, and that is such a tiny computer. Now, before I put the graphics card in here, it even looked smaller, and I really wish they had a single fan card that would be strong enough to make me feel like it was a good pair with the computer that we were putting in here because the the 4070 is huge I and mean, that's a large card regardless of the fact that it's dual fan so what do you guys think should i have gone with the 1070 or a 1660 super for this to kind of keep up with the tiny theme or did i make the right decision going with the 4070 i think i went uh did a good job i think the 4070 was the right way to go but we are going to turn this thing on and see if it works. It should work, everything is brand new. So let's just push this button and find out. Okay, so all the fans are spinning. GPU fans are spinning. Let's see an image. <laughs> Give me an image. Oh, all right, so it works. And I thought it would work, but you know, you always gotta test it. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put Windows on here. And we're gonna see how well our, uh, ridiculous computer performs. So, see you in a second. So I am currently downloading some games on our computer here, but in the meantime, I do have a small confession. This is not the only reason that I did this build. We decided to put the small form factor computer inside of this huge case because I have a larger goal in mind. And the larger goal is going to take place in our next video where I try to set a world record. And the world record is how many PC fans I can fit inside of one P home PC, one gaming PC that would go in your house. Now, I scoured the internet and I can't find anything about there being a record for how many fans they were able to put inside of a computer. So I bought quite a few fans and in our next video, we are going to try to shove as many fans as humanly possible inside of this system. So if you're not subscribed and you haven't hit the bell notification, now's the time to do it because we're gonna do something pretty crazy in the next video. So in Call of Duty, with the settings maxed out, 
all the way, as high as they could possibly go, we're getting anywhere from 144 FPS all the way up to 190 FPS at some points in the gameplay. And with that result, that is really making me rethink if I want to keep my 3090 or if I think maybe upgrading to a 4000 series card is the way to go because from what I'm seeing from a 4070, this graphics card is fantastic. But Call of Duty is Call of Duty. Let's go ahead and let's play some Forza and let's see how well it performs in Forza. So with Forza Horizon 5 loaded in, we are seeing the exact same thing we were seeing in Modern Warfare. The gameplay is absolutely unreal. It's super smooth. Everything is set to extreme, as high as it'll go, and we are seeing steady frames. It's looking fantastic, and it's further telling me that I need to get a 4000 series card, like now. But what we're gonna have to do now is test Hogwarts Legacy because that is one of my favorites, and we are gonna have to see how well the 4070 performs inside of that game. So let's jump into that. So who would have known one of the goofiest computers that I've ever made is one of the top performing computers that we've built on the channel. Okay, so with Hogwarts Legacy all loaded up, it's saying that I should play this game at ultra settings and I'm excited to see how this card performs in this game because this is a very demanding game. So I'm gonna be dead honest here. I think that this computer actually plays Hogwarts Legacy better than my computer and my computer's got a 3090 and a 5950X. I'm speechless. This is fantastic and I don't know why this computer feels like it's playing this game better, but it does. It's so smooth. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so while this computer does look completely ridiculous and there's no reason why anyone should ever put a computer that's this small inside of a case that's this absolutely massive. They are quality components and they are working fantastic and the gameplay was spectacular and it really, really makes me wanna go buy a 4000 series card for myself, but maybe we'll do that in a later video. But until then, we are going to continue to mess with this computer for next week's video because we are going to try and set a record for this computer and I'm really, really excited about it because we will be submitting it to the Guinness Book of Records so you will need to subscribe so you know when that video launches. It will be coming out on Saturday and I am so pumped to just throw as many fans inside of this computer as I possibly can. And as I said earlier, if you are a fan of the PC Rehab, please consider joining the Discord server. In there, we talk about new technology that's coming out. We do builds for people. We help people troubleshoot their computers if you're having an issue with your computer, as well as have a fantastic time. Plus, all of the giveaways that we do on this channel go through the PC Rehab Discord server, so you are going to need to be a member in order to take advantage of some of the free stuff that I give away to my subscribers. And what am I forgetting? I know I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, no matter where you are in the world, I hope you are having a fantastic day. And I will see you in the next video, which is gonna be an awesome one.